Am I wearing a hoodie in 80 plus degree weather? Yes. Yes, I am. I just got a new tattoo literally less than 24 hours ago right here. It has like a film over it and it's like being protected and I've I shot a video with fresh tattoos that had the film over it and it bothered the hell out of me that that was like there and I'm just like watching myself with a tattoo healing. A long sleeves would have sufficed and would probably be less hot than this, but oh well, I've committed two hours to this. I literally don't know what this is about except it's Owen Wilson and a dog. Like, that's all I know about Marley and Me. But my friend was like, you haven't seen Marley and Me? And, it, and now I have to watch it. I also, 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 I have pie. I know it doesn't look like pie, but it's pie. <laughs> What's up guys, it's Ange, and today we're gonna be watching Marley and Me. I'm so excited to watch this because apparently it's like mind boggling that I, I'm a dog lover and I love dogs and I'm a dog owner and I haven't seen this before. So to stay true to myself, I've decided to film this today. And also I didn't really have a solid plan of what I was filming. I have a list of like movies to do. Scratch all of that. Let's watch some Owen Wilson, all right? I love that guy. Him and Loki, 10 out of 10. Before we begin, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet already so you can stay tuned to all my content. I post three times a week. Follow me on all my social media. All my handles will be in the description below and follow me on Twitch. I live stream every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. I would also like to say thank you so much for 10,000 followers on Twitch. That is absolutely amazing and a milestone that I never thought of reaching. So that's actually incredible. So thank you. If you guys want to check out the full length commentary to this movie, make sure you check out my Patreon page where you can gain full access to that and future movie slash TV shows that I do on this channel. Alrighty, y'all, let's jump straight into the commentary. Oh, Labrador. A mix, maybe? That kid's not even me. Oh, what? That wasn't your dog? Wow, I just got duped. That was definitely not a lab. I think that was either a mutt, beagle mix, I don't know. Oh, that feels so good. Is that Jennifer Aniston? It is! I literally heard her voice. I'm like, Rachel? Rachel Green? Oh, is this their wedding night? Yeah, what's step three? It's easy. Move someplace warmer. But I love the snow. There's something magical about the snow. Like Lorelai Gilmore always says, it's like, it's a gift. It's a gift. Don't quote me on that. I don't know. Don't kiss me with your eyes open. Come on, get out of the car. Now, who am I? Again? Oh, please. Wait, they're so cute. They got good chemistry on camera. I will give them that. Who are you? And why are you disrupting my interview? Even if you are my friend, that is mean on a different level. You think you're better than the six journalism school graduates that came here looking for work this morning? I don't know if I'm better. I What I do know is that I have a tendency to surprise myself. <laughs> he said confidence or lack thereof. Never dreamed I'd get into college, but I did. And I never thought I'd get a job at a real newspaper, but I did. I will say this is not how you sell yourself in an interview. So they're putting me on a little thing they like to call desert storm. You got the job! You got the job?! That was like literally the worst interview I've ever heard in my life. He has, you know, a friend in the office, so he probably can vouch for him. Oh, it's based off a book?! Did you get to the quote about the speed bumps yet? She's reading his piece. Hey, but they spelled your name wrong. <gasps> How dare they! Wow. <gasps> Wow. How am I ever supposed to take care of a kid if I can't even keep a plant alive? He's like, children? Me too with the plants. That's why these are, these bad boys are fake. These aren't real. Get it like a bird or a puppy. You feed them, you walk them, you let them out every now and again, but it doesn't really matter because you're not the ones gonna take care of it. Jenny is. Y'all think that that's how you take care of a dog because you're in for a treat. Dogs are 10 times more work. Corbin. Gr Grogan. Gordon. Might as well just call him Gremlin. That's the perk of having a very common last name. The amount of teachers that just call me Kim. I had an old English teacher and he had my brother, me, and my sister in his English class in that grade of high school. And he referred to all three of us as Kim. Hi, Mr. Weinstock. He doesn't watch my videos. Oh my God, I'm so excited to see her reaction. What if she's like, how dare you adopt a puppy? All to avoid a child. Watch how she's already pregnant. Happy birthday. That's so cute. And you have to pick one. You gotta wait three weeks for them to be weaned before you can bring them home. I'm not even gonna be here. Give me a chance to bond with them and get a head start on training them. How are you gonna work a nine to five with a puppy? I can't wait to see this. I wonder if they're gonna show like all the, the 
troubles and all the training that it takes to like actually raise a dog. The fact that that puppy is not crying or throwing up in that car. I wonder how many dogs were named Marley after this movie came out. This dog is so adorable. He's got some teeth. You've got some eyeliner. I keep them in the garage so I get them house trained. Good luck with the house training. Good job, Marley. Eat all of it. Oh, so cute. Look at his legs. Oh my God, so adorable. Why haven't I watched this movie sooner? You're leaving him in a box. You have the decency to buy him a crate. We can all relate to this puppy crying all day, right? Oh God, he's gonna give in. He's giving in for sure. Mm, cutie. What did he do? Oh, he ripped up a bunch of stuff. He's teething. This is why you leave him in a crate. You're gonna ride out the rain right in your little box. You're leaving him. There's gonna be poop and pee everywhere. Oh no, and during a thunderstorm, he's gonna get so traumatized. Oh, oh, you're a jumper, huh? He's got sensitive, like, ears and he has like sonic hearing all right you know dogs can hear freaking miles away i think i don't know that's not true but they can hear way better than us oh my god i swear if the dog is just like running around in the house all crazy oh he's crying did he destroy the garage oh yes good boy oh that's not right you need to get him a crate the stock like puppy noises that they insert for the doggo is kind of great. And I can feel the machine guns. There's like nine of them around me, like AK-47s. The only knowledge I have of like guns is COD and immediately I just thought of Call of Duty. And also because people would call me AK-27 because my initials were AK and then my I was born on the 27th. So it was like a running joke of like, um, I say it's like a running joke out of all my friends. It's like two friends that called me AK-27. He's like, bro, let me steal your dog for a second. Oh, he's chasing the birds. Yeah, go get him. Go get your prey. Look at those little legs go. Everyone knows the feeling of chasing after their puppy when they're off leash. Why don't you have a leash? Come on, Owen. <gasps> Aussie. I have an Aussie, a mini one. Marley can't go through a screen door. <gasps> oh, yes, he can. Oh, he jumped the fence. He's going through a teenage phase, which is honestly a real thing in dogs. When they don't listen to you, they're rebellious, they know the commands, they just don't listen to test the waters. It's great, honestly. Hey, Marley. Marley's a big boy. Dude, you got so much dog saliva on you. Girl, you got, he's got so much dog saliva on him. I don't know if you want to kiss him right now. The floor? You know what's funny? Is he an untrained dog or is he trained? to be untrained for this movie. Do you know what I mean? Like not Marley, the character, the actor dog that is literally doing what he has to do. Sit. Oh, he's hugging. Lose the sunglasses. Dog likes to be looked at in the eye. It's all about body language. I wonder if I'm gonna learn anything. Let's go. Wait, she's not teaching anything. She's just letting them do whatever. That is not how dog training works. That's not how they learn all the time. It's all about drills and constant positive feedback. <laughs> yeah, get her down. Oh, <laughs> that's incredible. It's not how you train a dog. It's not about authority at all. No one take the advice of this lady. This is overrated. Are they neutering him? That's not gonna change his humping behavior by much. Oh, no, 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 I'm getting nervous. Uh, that okay. makes me nervous He's now. A <gasps> but no way, no way, no way that's actually happening. Oh my God, I'm never rolling down my windows for my dog ever again, I guess. Yo, no, there's no way he's walking on the street right now. I hope he loves it. I'm sorry, I'm gonna go back into the zone. Wait, 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 what are you apologizing? I'm laughing my head off at this. That's what your laughing face looks like, bro? I tell your dog not to feel too bad. Sooner or later, we all lose our balls. When have you lost your balls, sir? Is that why you're so grumpy? You're not telling me that this is what the computer would be looking like right now. There's no way you didn't have like Microsoft Word. Couldn't get the sponsorship. I get it. Make dinner. Overcooked the spaghetti. Got new food fight. I can't justify having that two seconds of fun to clean up the mess that happens afterwards. This has got to be so relatable for so many American families. Probably so relatable and like comforting to know that everyone kind of goes through the same thing. Not even with just the whole dog thing, but like just families and work and job and everything, you know? This is a great way to also show that time is passing. And then the way that they shot this kind of like camcorder style, also really fun. 
tried to think of reasons not to have a baby now. Not us. <gasps> oh, they're gonna have a child. Your plan. I want to know what's next. You really want to know? Kid, kid, kid. It's a toss up between a new roof and a baby. I'm ready. If you are. Morley, come on. Morley, go. This is probably so relatable for so many like couples as well. Like, where does the dog go? Hold on. Is that the euphoria dad? He looks so familiar and I could not put my finger on it. I think I'm correct. It literally just clicked in my head. Morley and me! Morley and me! You know the baby thing? I've been thinking maybe we should take a break. Maybe it's nature's way of saying now's not the right timing. <gasps> she's about to tell him that she's pregnant, right? I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. <laughs> Good timing. I like that. Wow. No way. Wow. Do you want to start over? I would love to. Take two. I'm pregnant. No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I like the do over. That was a little bit of a take two moment, but it's all right. Sometimes we need that. Not all reactions can be perfect. I mean, I don't know personally, but not not everything can just work. It's uh, sometimes my reaction. I mean, not mine, but like people's reactions aren't what you expect. Oh, John, <gasps> pretty. Okay. Or let me put it on. I think it's better luck. What did you do I with go? it? Did Marley swallow it? What you doing with that glass of wine? Aren't you preggers? Dude, you're not gonna see that for a few days. Drop it. This is why you teach. Drop it. Honestly though, my dog knows drop it. He will still like choose to ignore. Oh, this is so cute. And he swallowed it. Literally me all the time. Opening the mouth of the doggo. It'll be right up on the monitor here. Is she not actually pregnant? Excuse me. No, I'm gonna cry. She knew right away that something was wrong. And the problem is the nurse can't say anything, right? I know that from Jane the Virgin. This no heartbeat, Jane. No, that's so sad. Honestly traumatizing. It makes me so sad when I hear stuff like that. As a woman, I feel like people will feel this. It's so dumb, but it's like a natural response to feel like, what did I do wrong? And feeling like you couldn't, you're helpless. Like you couldn't do anything to change that outcome. But it's like so, it's so real. And I've heard so many stories of, of friends of mine and like people have gone through that or like, like it's just, it's tragic because even though you, it's not your fault and it's just the way of life and it's nature. It's just, I don't know. It's the feeling of being so helpless and hopeless and there's nothing that you can do, you know? Marley. Marley 100% knows. Dogs can like, it's all about body language. Dogs know when you're stressed, when you're sad, when you're, like all of that happens. Oh, so sad. Ah, don't do that to me, movie. Oh, whoa, 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 who are you? Read this, this will tell you everything that you need to know. So just okay, study that. Oh my God, she's house sitting and she definitely does not know what to do with the dog. Marley is a spirited dog who loves interaction. We are sure he'll behave just as he does when we're at home. Well, that's not a lie. I like what you did there, Jen. <laughs> he eats three times a day. If he looks starved, feed him again. That's not good for him to eat that much. Did you guys know that most dogs are actually overweight and obese? I forgot where I read the statistic. I think legit in my vet office. You can give him sedatives if you think a storm is arriving. Push them down his throat as far as they go. You gotta give it to him with a treat stuffer or peanut butter. You're trying your best, girl. You didn't sign up for that. I, I, I get it. My brother died in a fire. In this room, actually. That's not how you do business. I do not want to stay in here anymore. This is is not romantic at all. Where does this get away? It's the shrieks of oversex souls in hell. Do you want to join them? Here on that mattress where her someone family member died? I mean, good for you guys. So cute. You know, like, I know it's been a while. A lot of trauma has happened, but also someone died in this room. Oh, your parents are back and you know it. Your girl, you're not getting paid. I am a dog person, but that's not a dog. That is evil with a dog face. Oh God. No dog person will actually say that. If you're a dog person, you, even if he's a little rascal, you love him no matter what. <gasps> ah, the luck of the Irish. Q, wow! You know, anticipating watching this movie, I thought we we're gonna get more dog human story rather than these two and then dog, you know? What you chewing? What you doing? Marley, please! Why are you so antsy, Marley? <gasps> oh! It's like Marley knew. He was like anticipating her waking up. 
no, it's okay. I'm not gonna hurt her. Marley is literally protecting her. <gasps> That's so cute. Is that real? Do dogs do that? Bye, Marley. Oh, and they're gonna come. You gonna come back with the with the baby? I hope he's in love with the kiddo. Marley, this is Patrick. Patrick, look at the little guy. So cute. That's such a good shot. That's so creative of having all the baby stuff. And for garbage day, that's great. Patrick is growing up too. That's so adorable. <gasps> this is heaven. Marley's definitely growing up now. You can see it. Do you think it's a different dog? Probably, right? Obviously. How many dogs played Marley? It's. I don't think it's just three, like... Baby, teenager, adult. I feel like there's gotta be multiple Marleys on shooting days, cause you never know. Oh, and that shot staying consistent of her dancing with Marley, and now she's dancing with her baby. That's so cute. Nothing like family to like make a movie so sweet. Not quite what you expected, huh? I never thought Marley would seem like the easy one. Yeah, isn't that funny? Like, I literally, after, once I got my dog, I was like, I'm never having kids because just handling my dog is freaking hard. Can't even imagine with a kid. For dog owners and parents, let me know. Which one's harder, easier, maybe in different ways? <laughs> what happened? I told him not to scream. <laughs> or he stabbed me, but I screamed. Someone stabbed you? Oh god, that probably hurts so bad. We need to get an ambulance on the way. Ambulance? How do you say that word? Why does it sound weird? Does that ever happen to you where you say words and you're like, am I saying this right? It happens all the time with the word mesmerizing for me. It, it does not sound like right same with ambulance patrick is so old now my favorite part no way he just yeeted himself into the pool changing neighborhoods jen honey i'm pregnant <gasps> you're gonna have another kid oh patrick you're gonna have a sibling honey i think i have to quit my job when i'm at the office i just want to be here and i just know that i'm doing both jobs half halfway i just have this idea about myself you know as a reporter you take on a daily column i will double your salary Oh, is he gonna give up his dream so that he can make more money for his wife? Oh, will they be able to afford the house though then? Ah, I see. Oh, he wants to write all the serious articles. The sacrifice is incredible. And that's what a lot of like relationships and foundations are kind of based off of, if that makes sense. All right, I gotta go. <laughs> It happens every time. Well, you gotta spend more time with him. Oh, I can see where this is going. Like, spend more time with him, but he's taking on a job that he didn't even want so that he can double his salary so that she can quit. Oh my god. Oh no, is this gonna make me so sad? I can feel it coming. The challenges of having a family and the dynamic and the power shifts. It really, it really, ooh. He's just colicky, Jen. He'll grow out of it. Why don't you stay home and I'll go to work while he grows out of it? <sighs> the thing is, the wife probably feels like she's doing all the work with the kids, but then the wife doesn't really understand what the husband's going through, but then the husband doesn't really understand what the wife is going through, and it's all just a big jumbly mess when it can be a beautiful, harmonious thing, but it's like when we're all frustrated and kids are crying and the house is a mess, it's really hard to re- situate your mind and your mentality back to what that harmony is and the happiness that it can bring <gasps> marley's so excited that you're home oh but he's like i'm so tired i just want to rest oh god i'm sure a lot of families can relate to this situation of coming back to a busy home and feeling like the world is literally ending like what is my life marley Dog. Marley. Marley probably just wants some attention. So who gets a dog if you guys split up? Splitting up? Who says anything about splitting up? Why do you jump right to splitting up? Come on, buddy, mend it, don't end it. Splitting is not the answer. I like that. Mend it, don't end it. <laughs> Please. Oh no, he's gonna wake the kids. Why do you ruin everything? Go on. Hey, just well, get rid of the hard. dog. Well, that's not gonna happen, obviously. We're not getting rid of the dog. Oh my god, I, this is so sad. I understand it though. You gotta be kidding me. Just for a couple days till so things cool down at home. You only brought him in the food? I literally, whenever I drop him off at a sitter or at a friend's house, I pack so much. The Times offered you a permanent job? Wow. Haha, <laughs> see what I did there? He's probably so jealous. Sebastian's gonna watch him for a few days. Just until I can find a 
More permanent home. No! You are not getting rid of Marley. Marley's not going anywhere. Honey, I'm sorry. I just got overwhelmed. That's actually pretty immature. Thank you for apologizing. I just think these things are gonna happen and we're gonna get through them together. Together. I love watching this family dynamic. You don't really see this in movies. Movie plots are, are kind of scripted differently with pacing, but this is great because it's slow, but paced well at the same time. And it really just focuses on trying to get you to relate and to know that this is normal and all this stress and family drama and having a dog and whatever, everyone goes through this Everyone knows that it's hard. And I hope there's gonna be, you know, a great ending to this to see that there's hope for the future and we don't need to just split up and break up and give up on something so beautiful because there are happy moments, there are hard moments, but that's the beauty of it, you know? No more kids for a while. Absolutely. Deal. <gasps> Daddy says her name is Whoops. Whoops! <laughs> Always the third child is the whoops, right? Wow, wait, they're so grown now. Dang, how many actors were just Patrick alone? I mean, come on. Yo, Jennifer Aniston's yoked. Did you see those muscles? But All the Marleys have been looking hella different to me. They just look so different, you know, you can tell. You're gonna let them off leash? Oh, they're all gonna let him go? Oh, this is so sweet. But you know, I don't believe that they're gonna be trained enough. Oh God, this gives me so much anxiety. Not the poop circles. How did the police know? There's no way. Not everyone at the beach just leaving because one dog poops in the water. Good job. Surprise! Oh, I didn't know you knew this many people. Oh, I'm Marley going for the cake as well. That's adorable. Feed your dog cake, sir. That was my blessing to take that job in Philadelphia. This is such a sweet moment. You sacrificed for the family and now she's like, we sacrificed for you. Wait, I don't know why that's making me so like emotional. Like, I think that's so beautiful that like, that's what like a family is all about, you know? Too, I don't know, it feels a little late. Being no. No, 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 no. We're not old, John. Oh. She's proven it. Have you seen those guns? Dude, what if your kid just walks out? But where's Marley? Yes, of course he's there. This is a great movie. It's not even finished yet, but like, it's a pleasant surprise. I'm really enjoying this. That's their new house? Oh, even Marley likes it. Oh yeah, I gotta leave your staple. Most dogs will just pee in the area, not Marley. She's just gonna chew up things. Knock things over, break things. It's here, it's here, it's here, it's here, it's here. What's here? Oh, they went back to the snow. This is so sweet. Y'all did this. Y'all created such a good family, a happy family. Oh, I am overwhelmed with cuteness. Getting nice and old. No, this is this is this first signs. His hips, they're giving out. Is Marley gonna be sick? I can't do this. What's going on? I don't know. He just, he's not coming back. I don't know where he could have gone. Where'd he go? Why did he just run off? Wait, I'm so nervous right now. I can't even commentate properly. This is like my biggest nightmare. Marley, where are you? Where are you going? Why'd you run away? Let me give you a hug if you're not feeling well. Marley! <laughs> he's in pain. Is he in pain? Why did his stomach twist? We don't exactly know why this happens. The problem is that once this happens, it almost always happens again. I'm just saying you may want to prepare yourself that he may not make it through the night. Oh, that's doctor talk for he's not making it. I can't even imagine what it's like to like part from your pet. I don't even want to think about it with my doggo. They're gonna get a phone call or something of him being like he, he passed or something, right? I'm reading your old columns. About Marley! Don't. He, nothing's even happening yet. I sense his death. I know it. Sometimes they're sad and sometimes they're really funny. Dang, Owen was the first blogger, I guess. Okay, not the first blogger. I'm, that's 2008. There's probably a bunch of bloggers out. But he was the first lifestyle influencer, I guess. Might even make a nice book. How about Marley? And then did you call it Marley and me? Thank you. He's coming home. Ducky! Look, there he is! There he is, Marley! Yeah. Wait, this is so cute! Look at him being all good and off leash. John Grogan! <gasps> hey! What are you doing in Philly? <laughs> wow, Jen's holding up. Yeah, did you see her guns? That's what I'm saying. You did okay. You're living the real dream, bro. 
Let's get a cheesesteak. Hi. Nice. Same old dude. Harley. <laughs> You're gonna eat something funky and your stomach's gonna twist again? Come on. You're almost to the top. I'm not prepared for this. Oh, that's such a pretty moment. This is such a good shot. Look at that golden hour. They could have just ended the, the movie there. Can you just roll the credits, please? What are you doing down here? He's probably hurting. He just wanted to stay by the fire. I don't want to have to deal with this. We don't want to watch this. I know it's coming. I can't. I thought you came here to be a reporter. I know I did, yes. but I think we both know that isn't me. He's trying to get a columnist job now. He's gonna he's gonna quit his job. He's gonna write a book about Marley and me, right? He's just not getting better. Oh, Patrick is crying. I think Patrick knows what's happening. He lived his whole life with him too. You had a nice long life though. You had a really fun life. You didn't even have to be trained. You could just you were chewing up everything you wanted. You lived your life, dude. Marley's been through all of it with them. I can't. Oh my god, are you saying goodbye? Don't do this to me! Thank goodness my dog is six months! <laughs> the way that dogs just bring humans so much happiness. Even when they seem like a nuisance sometimes. You're a great dog. <laughs> Don't do this to me! Oh, that's just Kool-Aid, right? There's nothing... It's nothing. Uh, it's gonna stop his heart. <laughs> Yummy! Cranberry juice! Poor baby. I'm gonna miss him and him breaking things and pulling on the leash. Do you guys wanna read what you wrote? Oh, they wrote something for him that's so cute. I'd like to give him something. Oh, the necklace that he ate and passed through his rectum. <laughs> Buy clearance puppy. Clearance puppy! Yeah, you were only 200 bucks, bro! Bye, Marley! That was so good. Where's my dog? Do you see where the coat rack is? He's right under there. He was there the whole time I was filming from when I started to when I ended because he's waiting for me to finish work. And he has a big donut on his head because he too has lost his balls. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people can relate to how I feel right now after having seen this movie or maybe they even lived a life like this and they're reminiscing on a partner that they had wow i really can't do this outro without crying because just thinking about it makes me really emotional 10 out of 10 in terms of script writing i really liked how this was almost like a slice of life kind of movie and just really watching marley's life with this family's dynamic the bouncing between both storylines is great it was really good really good i'm glad that i was suggested this movie from my friend <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed this commentary make sure you leave it a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't yet already so you can stay tuned to all of my content <laughs> make sure you check out my last video okay guys i'm gonna go cuddle my dog who is literally still napping <laughs> right now and i'll see you guys in the next one bye okay bye okay bye okay bye